Hello everyone, welcome to It's Crochet O'Clock. My name is Stephanie and this is a virtual stitching gathering that we do every single Monday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are not logged into your YouTube account, you will not be able to participate in live chat. So if you are having issues seeing or speaking to people in live chat, that's probably what it is. So just make sure that you're logged into your YouTube account. Speaking of live chat, who do we have in here this evening? Yay! Oh, Freaky Geek is here. I think I saw my cousin's name. I think I saw my cousin Amy there. Hello, everybody! So many people here already this evening. Look at you guys. How long y'all been waiting on me? <sighs> Did you guys have a great week? I had a fabulous, 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 fabulous week. We have Ida and Dee, and I think Kim is here as well, wielding spanners just in case you guys decide to get sassy. No getting sassy. An hour? You've been here for an hour? <laughs> Lord, Freaky, that's some dedication. Did it hurt you last week not being able to talk in, in chat? So many people coming in saying hello. Aw, super chat. Thank you, naughty little skein. Thank you so much. We've been waiting forever. Oh, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I figured, Freaky, that it was killing you. I knew that you were watching, but that you had issues with your account and logging in last week and I figured that it was just killing you not being able to to talk in chat but that's okay you got it fixed and that is the important part freaky was 66 minutes early tonight oof and there's a full moon on Friday lord sometimes we can't control the sassy I know I know I know. Oh, it's Emily's first time being here. Welcome, Emily. It's a bit different here. We don't always just talk about yarn and, and crochet or, or knitting. We talk about all kinds of things. Love the blue. Oh, thank you. I am trying to get this blanket finished because it was supposed to be a Christmas present. No, it was supposed to be a birthday present last year in November. Then it turned into a Christmas present last year in November. I gotta get it done. I gotta, gotta, gotta get it done. Hello, Leanne. Friday the 13th, full moon, all of that good stuff. Oh, welcome, Stephanie. I too am Stephanie. Welcome. Usually about an hour into chat, we start talking about all the foods. That's true. That's very true. It happens. Oh, yes, yes. And for all of you who are new, Freaky is completely harmless. Honest to goodness. Completely harmless. Hey, Daigo. Welcome back. Whew. This is, um, it is Red Heart Macaw, I think. Yeah, Macaw is what the blue is. Um, welcome, Linda. No, this is not about helmets. So sorry, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> Toe Beans is eating popcorn. Oof. I wish I was eating popcorn. I wish I was eating something. Uh oh. What are you what what are you doing to me here? What are, what are you doing? Did you get tangled up in yourself? That's no bueno. Don't do that. Come on. Be good. Good night. Ooh, mercy. All right. I don't know how in Sam Hill this happened. Honestly. Honestly. Oh. Now I see. How did I do that? Okay. It's going to be okay. This 
is going to be okay. We can figure this out. I thought I was going to be smart and spin my yarn the other way so I wouldn't have to stop and unspin it again so soon. And apparently the yarn is smarter than me. Yes, Kim, I know that you have to move the balls every time. This, this is my third yayas. I don't know if you've heard or not. <laughs> uh, hello, Nyasha. Nyasha finished her yayas hugs. She's a patron, so she gets the patterns earlier. And she was on the ball. She finished her yayas already. She was not messing around. Come on. Just, just work with me. Work with me. There we go. Maybe. We're just going to keep going and see what happens. Oh, I pulled out some of my chains. I mean, what could go wrong? Honestly, right? I saw that you ran out of your discontinued. You poor thing. I'm not going to make fun of you. All that frogging you'd think that you'd learn by now? Me? Learn a lesson? <laughs> right. Alright, I do need a little bit more here. Come on. Jeez. I thought I was doing a good thing, you guys. I really did. I thought I was prepared. I was coming in here. I was like, yeah! Yeah, we're going to get this done. You are going to make a mess. Why would you jinx me like that, Ida? I thought that we were friends. This is this is how my friends treat me, you guys. Listen, I only have, I mean, like, 30 stitches left, okay? That's it. I only have 30 stitches left, and all of the actual crocheting will be done on this blanket. Then I just have to weave in the ends that I thought that I had already woven in, but I hadn't. So we're not going to um, mess around with getting fancy now, this late in the game. I'm just going to continue to put myself through misery because that's what I do. And um, that's how it's gonna go. Let me, let me in. Hello, there's my Aunt Jean Ann. I love you so much. Oh, come on. Oh, Chris is making picos. Picos can get annoying. They, they you, you can't ever have just a couple picos. They don't ever just give you just a couple in patterns, do they? No, no. They give you 11 billion picos in a pattern. All right, come on. Oh. More yarn, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are the hurricanes? I think everybody's doing everybody's doing fine. The only one that I haven't heard from is Jaja, but I don't think that Jaja was in an area where where it would have you know, seriously, seriously affected her. I think she's far enough inland to where she wouldn't have had to worry about it. I could be wrong, but from memory from last year, I don't think we have anything to worry about with Jaja. Hello, Julie! All right, come on. So you guys, guess what starts on Sunday? Wait, is it... Hold on before I open up my mouth. Yes, guess what starts on Sunday? Blue Happy. Woo! Super excited. Yaya's Hugs ends on Thursday. The last part comes out on Thursday. You guys are all going to be so mean and so angry and upset, but it's worth it. Just untwist them once more. No, they're twisted the, the other way. As I am working, they're untwisting. I promise. I twisted them backwards before we started. <sighs> J 
Jaja is in the area that could have had some damage from Dorian. Yeah, but I don't think that, I mean, she's not on the Outer Banks or anything, so I don't think that that she's in a place where the bad, bad stuff happened. <gasps> 48 hours until Fiberific, we're, we're at a die stream again already? Where did that month go? Where did that month go? Wow. And you know, my Aunt Jean Ann is making a very good point, okay? Next week, when you guys are all using naughty words, when you are thinking of me and you're working this border, I want you guys to know that, okay, this is the second time that I have made this while on camera with you guys. So I'm sitting here crocheting, I'm watching chat, I'm watching all of the stats for all of the technical stuff that, that's going on here. I'm watching chat from the moderators. I'm doing all kinds of things at once and I'm doing it. If I can do all of this at once, you can do it. No giving up. All right, you guys, it is untwisting. I promise you it is untwisting. Settle down, all of you. I twisted it the opposite way. Have mercy. The die-off was, was an extra one. Maybe that's why my brain has gotten messed up with, with the times for, for Fiberific. Because I really felt like we like, just had a die stream, but I'm happy. But I'm I'm very, very happy. Well, I hope that she's okay regardless. I'm waiting to hear it start. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it it's coming. It's it, it's definitely coming. I, I already know that it's coming. And I'm I'm so disappointed because Emma um Emma finished her part five. And she's ready for part six, but she's actually thinking about extending hers. I think she's going to repeat parts four and five to make the blanket bigger before she actually gets to the border. And I'm a little bit bummed, okay, because Emma has put me through some trials, you guys. Filming those tutorials for Emma, she has put me through some trials. And, and I know that it's petty of me. And um, I know that it's not a grown-up thing, but I have been looking forward to Emma having to do this border. <laughs> Ooh, notifications are popping up on my screen for some reason. You make it look easy. It's not hard, guys. Honestly, it's not hard. And if I can do it with all of this other stuff going on... Yeah. Hello, Rebecca. Welcome to chat. This um, this is actually a crochet along that's going on right now called Yaya's Hugs. You can find it at itscrocheteaclock.com. Five pieces have been released already, and the sixth and final piece will be released on um, Thursday. She makes it bigger. You will hear about it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's going to be glorious. It's going to be glorious. I I am waiting patiently for that moment. Aw, thank you, Wanderlust. That's two super chats already within 20 minutes of, of starting. You guys are on the ball. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, Emma gets to do more. Yep, she will get to do more if she makes her blanket bigger. Hello, Leela. Welcome. <laughs> she says, full disclosure, I'm not crocheting. I'm bathing my son, but I plan to crochet later. That's all that matters. It's okay. There's lots of people that are here that aren't crocheting. Freaky is probably spinning something. There's others who are knitting. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, let me get back into frame here. Sorry. My arms are stretched out. I got T-Rex arms. I should have moved my camera. But I didn't. Oh. Hello, Velvet Lee. Ooh, there's lots of people just coming in. Welcome, everybody. 
So, you guys, I have awesome, awesome, awesome news. And it's so strange because we were just talking about it last night. All of the, or not last night, last week. All of the energy from all of us talking about it last night must have gone out into the universe somewhere. Or did one of you guys go ahead and tweet Gary Sinise? Because I got an email back yesterday from the Snowball Express. Finally, and I have a meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. my time with our new liaison for the Snowball Express. So I am going to see what I can do for us so we can get the Snowball Express going again for this year because so many of you guys are asking about it and I really want to do it again too. I do. I would really like to do it again. Whew. Um. Oh, Emily said, I wish I could be crocheting right now, but I'm drained from dealing with my newborn, my newborn's growth spurt. Bless your heart, honey. You just lean back and, and, and just, just relax. Hey, Lauren made it. Happy to see you, Lauren. We have missed you. And there's Gabby. Yay. All the yays are coming through. What is Snowball Express? Okay. So, the Snowball Express is an organization that takes children of fallen warriors and their surviving parent to Disney World every year at Christmas time because Christmas is one of the hardest times of the year to deal with the loss of of anybody really the children range range in ages from infants to teenagers one of the things that happens while they are there at Disney is they get given handmade blankets so last year, my Aunt Jean Ann and my cousin Amy are part of the Florida Daughters of the American Revolution, and they did a massive drive all year long to raise up blankets to donate to the Snowball Express, and we helped them. Sent lots and lots and lots of blankets, and they will be delivered to those children December 11th. We started in September, I think it was September, of last year and ran all the way to April was our cutoff of this year and that those blankets will be delivered this December. So what we will be doing is we will be working on blankets for next year to be given to them. But it's a really, it's a really awesome cause. They, they fly these families from wherever they are. They fly them to Disney they pay for all of their accommodations, all of their food. They literally don't have to pay for anything. And they get days and days at, at Disney with other children who understand exactly what they're going through. All of that. And it doesn't have to be a crochet blanket. It just has to be homemade. So it can be a quilt. It can be crocheted. It could be knitted. It could be fleece blankets. Um just has to be homemade. So it's lots of fun. It's doing really, really good things. Oh. Seriously, why do people have to call me on Monday night? You just gotta learn to like turn your ringer off on Monday nights, honestly. It really is an amazing cause. It's an, it, it, it is a glorious cause and I was starting to think that we weren't going to be able to participate in it again and I was getting really really bummed about it but I'm I'm super super stoked I don't know how our meetings gonna go tomorrow I, I don't know the logistics of it because like I said last year um, ooh, hope said I have a son that is leaving for boot camp for the Marines in October yeah I come from a Marine Corps family um I don't know how we're going to work the logistics of it, all of, of that good stuff. I, I don't know. Um, I'm already preparing myself to have to drive to Texas to, to deliver <laughs> all of these blankets. We will see. Um, oh gosh, I am so close, you guys. So close. Oh, Sue watches on the phone, so it messes with the live. 
Bless their hearts. Bless their hearts. Hope, where do you live? I can tell you where he's going if you tell me where you live. Anything east of the Mississippi, if they're males, anything east of the Mississippi is going to Paris Island, and anything west of the Mississippi, he is going to San Diego. If they're females, however, all females go to Paris Island. Maybe we could all donate to help send them. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't mind. It depends on how many we get. Because we got... He's going to... I think he'll be going to California. Um, it depends on how many blankets we get. Last year, there were tons. Tons, 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 and it might actually work out cheaper for me to drive versus shipping them to them. <gasps> Sandy's son auditioned this morning for the United States Marine Corps President's Band. Oh my gosh, I am so happy for your son. Woo, what an honor. What an honor. Oof. That's very, very, very awesome. I, I, I have goosebumps. Goosebumps all over my skin. I'm so excited for your son. Or donate gas money. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I'm only seven hours away from Dallas, and I think that their, I think that their headquarters is in Dallas. All right, you... You need to stop. Seriously. Seriously. I don't know if I've already gone over this, but I'm just going to unwind this regardless because I don't know if I've gone past where I... Oh! Stop it! Jesus. <sighs> One is in Dallas and the other is in McKinney, Texas. I wonder how far McKinney, Texas is away from me. I don't know where McKinney, Texas is. Where is that? I don't know. I'll ask her tomorrow. Almost. Almost. All right, look, there's just too much of you out here. That's why. That's why we're having difficulties. Oh. Okay. All right. We're back at it. Did I pull out one of my chains? I think I did. I think I did. Uh, yarn needs a timeout. Bad twisties. Nope. It it's just the it's just the border that we're doing. It's expected. It's gonna happen. But it's worth it in the end. It's definitely worth it. Makes all the difference. I'm already 24 minutes into this, and I wanted to be done with this by the half hour mark so I could weave in ends. That's not happening. It's not happening. McKinney's not far from Dallas. Oh, okay. Well, seven hours. It is what it is. Yes, I know that the... The screens are out of sync, and I have no idea why that happens. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what it is. What I need to do is I just need to delete the program off of my computer all the way and then reset it. But, <laughs> confession, 
I haven't messed with these settings since I first set them up over a year ago. And I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> what size hook am I using? I'm using a six millimeter for, for this border. Oh, wrong way. Sixty hours from Dallas? That's a long ways. So I guess that means that we won't see you at the Dallas Fiber Festival if we get in, huh? <laughs> Unfortunately. Such a bummer. Sue, are you coming to Dallas if, if, if we get in? I know Dee said that she will drive up if if we get into the Dallas Fiber Festival. Are you going to come up with the girls? Are you going to bring me the Lord's Chicken? Which way do you wind? Which way do I wind the yarn? I, I don't know. Try twisting it one way. If you twist it more, that's the wrong way. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Yay, Sue will be coming to Dallas. I really, really hope that we get into Dallas. I was talking to Amy on, on the phone earlier, and I don't know how she's missed that we're going to be in New Orleans in, in July, but I made her evening when I told her, hey, we're going to New Orleans in, in July. She got all kinds of excited about it. I don't know how she missed that. We decided that in New Hampshire. <laughs> Oh, Chris, I'm so sorry. If I have to pick up Sue, she's getting dragged along. It'll be great fun. It 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 really really will. We'll have to we will have to set up a um a pip and poppycock and it's crochet o'clock, a good loops and a nurturing fibers gathering one of the nights that that it's going on. Thankfully, you know, they don't have all kinds of evening events like the Crochet Guild of America. There is, there is, you know, events going on from the time you wake up in the morning until well past the sun going down. So there really wasn't a lot of time to, to plan meetups and things like that. While you're at the conference, I did get to have dinner. One night we got to have dinner with Betty McNitt and Marianne, who is her sidekick. The other night we got to have dinner with Wanda, who comes in here all the time, and um, Sandra Ng, who is a Nurturing Fibers blogger that lives in Minneapolis. And then one night I think it was just me and Amy and and Jen that, that did dinner, but other than that we didn't really get to have a proper meetup type thing because we were always at the Good Loops booth, but thankfully everybody found me. I ran out of wins and can't get it right again all. I already checked the basketball schedule, got sitters for the girls and can drive D up there since my van is set to autopilot for that drive. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Alicia. I was looking at at the schedule, so I was I was happy about that because we'll be done with the booth, um, you know, er, early early evening. We'll be done with the booth, so we'll be able to have a proper proper gathering for for everybody that's going to be in Dallas. We have a lot of people from It's Crochet O'Clock that live uh, around that surrounding area too. Oh, I'm so close, guys. This last part is the worst. Honestly, when you're so close, you can taste it, but it still feels like forever getting there. Ugh. 
Hey, calm down, yarn. Um, I have no idea what's going on. I guess people are giving each other advice about something. Frankie said hello to all the lurkers. There's a lot of lurkers, but that's okay. Sometimes, you know, you're just working on a project and you need your hands for working on a project. So you can't type. It happens. Hello, genies. Welcome. I'm, I, I am hoping that, that we get in as well. You know, there was like 300 entries last year and they only have 95 spots. So I'm, um, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers because I would really, really like to go. And I really want to spend some time with Carlay. You know, Jennifer's there in South Africa, so she can hop on a plane and fly down from Pretoria to Cape Town and hang out with Carlay whenever she wants to. It's not that easy for me to do. I only get to hang out with Carlay on video chats. <laughs> so it'll be nice to be able to hang out with Carlay. This is my crochet night. Hello, the crafts enthusiast. It is. It's going to be a great time. But even if it's not, you know, New Orleans will be great too. I'm thinking of taking a couple extra days um, after. I should probably be smart and I should probably take a couple extra days before convention and um, and explore and, and have some fun because it's been it's been years since I've been to New Orleans and I've gotten older and my priorities of, of what interests me has changed. So um, I should probably be smart and do a couple days beforehand versus doing it after because I am exhausted after convention. Oh no, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Kim does not have a project to work on. What is going on with the universe? How strange is that, that Kim has no project going on? It's not okay. It's not okay at all. Um, did I pull? Yes. Yes, of course I did. Dizzy Stitches, hello! I can't be a proper lurker. I chat too much. You do. No one could accuse you of being a lurker. No, sir. That's okay, Diana. At least you're here. That's all that matters. Truly. What kind of convention? I'm 25 minutes from NOLA. Um, the Crochet Guild of America has a convention every year. It's called the Chain Link Conference. And each year, the United States, the continental United States, is split up into four parts, and each year it changes. This year, it was in Manchester, New Hampshire. Next year, it's going to be in New Orleans. And the year after that, it will be somewhere in the Southwest. And then it will go back up to probably Seattle which is where they normally hold it when it's the, the Northwest time. Oh my gosh. Come on. No! I did not tell you to do that. Goodness. I didn't tell you to do that either. Rude. Hey, Jackie! Hello, Nick. Welcome. The New Orleans one is going to be lots of fun. I am looking forward, you guys. I cannot tell you how forward I <laughs> Oh, the shrimp. Oh, I can't wait. It's not until July, and I'm already dying for it to be here. You should come to a stand at Bendigo. I don't know if we can technically do a stand at 
Bendigo. Thank you, Dizzy Stitches. This is the Yaya's Hugs um, pattern. It's a crochet along that's going on right now. You can get it by going to itscrochetoclock.com. It's um, parts one through five are already out, and part six, which is the final part, comes out this Thursday. Um, Kim, I, I don't think that we can because there are territories for sales. Um, at, and somebody has the Australian territory, so I don't think that we can technically go over there and vend, which is a bummer. I mean, I would do it just to come and see you guys, but I would not be happy about the cold. Hey, Kathy, welcome. Dude, there were people selling beds. What? At a fiber festival? People selling beds at a fiber festival? What kind of sense does that make? That's weird. These colors are I, Heather Gray and Macaw in Red Heart. And I am fighting because I have that much space left and I don't want to untangle yarn again so I'm I'm fighting it's probably gonna bite me in the butt you will have to go and say that it's re researching Bendigo woolen mills yeah I could get Tim Tams I could get Tim Tams I could get my own Tim Tams and I wouldn't have to rely on Kim anymore to to be my dealer poor Vanessa you know, last week I told you guys that she was on the crochet cruise with, um, she was teaching on the crochet cruise with Sandy Walker. She only took home five packages of Tim Tams. And now she has regret. And I understand those feelings. Um, you talking about Yarny Pants? Yarny Pants is taking a social media break. I do not know exactly what happened, but my assumption is that his job kept him traveling for quite some time away from his wife and his daughter, and he went home. Because, you know, whenever he was going live, he was that wasn't from his bedroom. That was from a hotel room. He was always gone. So I know that he switched jobs, and I know that he went home, and that he's taking a social media break. So I am going to assume that it is a combination of he just spent so much time away from his family that he wants to focus on being with his family, and that he's got new job brain. So, he has not been online. You're not missing anything. He just hasn't been online. Steph would have a suitcase full of just tempted. Yeah, yeah. I'd be paying the extra fees for Tim Tams. I'm that person. It's okay. I'm confident enough w within myself to, to admit that. There, there's no shame in it. No shame in it at all. Will you... Goodness. This is why I don't like to stop and untangle, because then I get out of the groove. Okay, I'm back. If I don't have to deal to you anymore, I'm sure I could find new customers. You probably could. New job brain. Yeah, you know, whenever you start a new job, even if you're doing the same thing in in your new job that you did at your old job, there's still things to learn and new people to get used to and a new environment to get used to, and it's just mentally taxing. That's new job brain. I want to order some Tim Tam stuff. Well, you can't order Tim Tams for me. I do not share my Tim Tams. But you can catch up with Gamer Widows in the It's Crochet O'Clock Facebook group, and if you send her Nutter Butters, she'll return the favor with Tim Tams.
You can also try World Market. I know that World Market has um, several different varieties because we've talked about it a lot in the It's Crochet O'Clock Facebook group. They have several different flavors, but the only ones that are real are the original and the dark chocolate ones. All of the other ones are the imposters. You just have to make sure that you're looking at the back of the package. If it says made in Australia, that's the real one. If it says product of Australia, that's the fake one. Even when I, you know, Kim, every Friday, I keep remembering that I was supposed to take Tim Tams to Shelly at work. Okay, a Tim Tam, a baby Tim Tam to Shelly at work, but I keep forgetting. And honest to goodness, I, I keep forgetting. I'm not doing that on, on purpose. I, I agreed to take her one of the, the baby Tim Tams, and I shall. I just got to remember to do it. World Market. Forty minutes in Tim Tam. What's our record? Oh no! It it w w somebody has said something about Tim Tams like three minutes after live chat started. <laughs> Listen, okay? If you love me, you gotta love all the things about me, and my addiction to Tim Tams are part of those things. Okay? Seven dollars for Tim Tams? Lord have mercy. You could pay Kim to ship them to you and, and get a better deal than that. That's highway robbery. You know, with the exchange rate, even if you paid for shipping, if you sent Kim like 30 bucks, Kim could probably send you like six packages of Tim Tams, and that would include the shipping and the cost of the, of the Tim Tams because of their exchange rate versus ours. I'm just saying, just throwing that out there for you guys. All right, come on. We are in the very last stitches. I'm going to need you to act like you have some upbringing. Kim Scullin. And I mean, the people at her grocery store already look at her like she's got six heads because she goes through and, and buys me copious amounts of Tim Tams all at the same time. Yes, yes, back here, back here, come on, oh, come on, you could at least go into the stitch, into the stitch, and there's one, snippy, snippy, okay, and here is, come on, get over there. You get back there, and you go right here. Snippy, snippy. Oh, he's done. Now I just gotta weave in ends. Hallelujah! Sorry, that's loud. But I'm just a little bit excited to get all of this out of my way. Whew! All right, now for the unpleasantness. Okay, I'm hungry, what's for dinner? Pizza, 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 pizza. Pizza Hut made my dinner tonight. Oh Jesus, I didn't tie in any ends, you guys. I mean none. I guess I did on the small squares, but Lord have mercy. What in Sam Hill was I thinking? And it's amazing to me that this um, that this center 
um, Magic Rain didn't come out. All the thrashing and everything. How many ends? A gazillion. That's how many I got. Have mercy. I know what in Sam Hill I was thinking. Ugh. It's gonna take me 17 forevers to get this done. Man. <sighs> Only me. Only me, you guys. You would think that I would learn. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I do know what I was thinking. I was in a rush to get this pattern written, and I just needed to get around the corner with the border to get it out to the testers. And then I stopped. <laughs> That's why it didn't get finished. I was in a rush. Oh, smoke brisket. Mmm. Mmm, brisket. I used to send four packs, which would cost $30 postage. I could probably fit five if I didn't care about packing them so they didn't get crushed. I've never heard of 17 forevers, but I... Really? I always say that. 17 of them. Exactly 17 of them. Mm -mm -mm. One? Who's going to keep count? Chat's flying by quick. So sorry, guys. I actually have to, I, I do have to look down for, for this part. Which is a bummer. Chicken and broccoli and cheese rice. Oof. I'm going to tear up some pizza, which is bad because for the past two weeks, I've done very, very, very well with what I'm eating. But, um... Today I said enough, and I'm going to destroy a pizza. As if it's not going to go straight to my thighs, I am going to destroy a pizza. Where did you get those nippers? I have no idea. I have had those scissors for years and years and years. I got them a long time ago, back when I was still doing more embroidery than I was doing anything else. I have no idea where I got them. I probably got them at some place like Hobby Lobby or some place like that. All right, you're just going to stay there. I'm done with you. Oh. Sally, it's not breakfast time for you yet. What time is it for you guys? I thought it was like mid-morning by the time my live started for you guys over there. Come on, get in there. Hello, Arctic. Welcome. You're not too terribly late. About halfway point. Ten twenty AM. Oh. I don't eat breakfast either. If I eat too early in the morning, it makes me feel sick all day long. I don't ever eat breakfast. <laughs> Hello, Anthony. He said, give a thumbs up if your college team won. Give a thumbs down. If you're, um, hey, D. 
that's a no-no. <laughs> D got a little bit happy there. <laughs> but I can give a thumbs up because my college team won. My professional team didn't, unfortunately. My professional team got murdered, you guys. I was so cranky. I eat two hours after I get up no matter what time of the day. Really? I can't eat like that. It's, um, makes me, makes me sick. I literally don't eat anything all day long. Because if I do, then I'll just feel bleh. I don't know how you undo a timeout. <laughs> so, um, sorry, Anthony, you're probably watching. And if you're trying to say something and you can't say something, it's because the, the mods put you in timeout and they can't figure out how to get you back out. <laughs> oh, you guys. My professional team won, and it was awesome. Listen, the flipping Patriots, man. Ugh, the Patriots. Ugh. I just, I'm, I'm just, the depression. Anthony D said that she's sorry. She was trying to hit the thumbs. <laughs> she deleted your message. She did not mean to. She apologizes. Wait. What am I doing? Where am I where am I going? Okay, that's where I'm going. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Anthony can talk again. Okay. Everybody, crisis diverted. Anthony has not been, he, he, he's out of timeout. My teams both won. Wow, look at you guys. Some of y'all are doing very good. Not me. And I'm in a place where I can't watch the Florida State game, so the only thing I can do is is um, look at the scores online. I can't listen to it or, or anything like that. And I have no idea what happened with Florida State on Saturday, but it had to have been crazy because I was watching those scores. Crazy. I'm bummed that I missed it because we won by one point. Just one, but hey, like Amy said earlier when I was talking to her, a win is a win. Ugh. The Browns? Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Listen, Bobby. If we get into Dallas, I'm just going to need you to come to Dallas without your husband. <laughs> I'm a Steelers fan. I can't with the Browns. Stephanie must have missed my comment or is ignoring it. No, I would never ignore you. What happened? What happened? Where did I go? Wait, where is Sue? What is she saying to me? I'm trying to scroll. I got sidetracked because Anthony got put in timeout. By, by accident. So I, I got sidetracked and my brain got all crazy. I don't see your comments, Sue. I'm not ignoring you, honest to goodness. I'm scrolling and I just got all the way to the deleted message. You're going to have to repeat whatever it was. I'm so sorry. <sighs> FSU was outplayed. Hmm. I don't know who you are, but you're not going to make no friends talking like that. 
your fired stuff. Hey, hey, hey! There's no need for such hostilities, okay? Said I love my patriots. Listen, you're lucky that you have them angels of babies who make me videos while they are eating the Lord's chicken. I'm gonna make an exception for you. Because I love you. I'm just gonna... That hurts me. Just so you know, it hurts me to hear you say that. You don't want to know what she said? She just told me what she said. And no, I would have... I could have gone for forever, forever, without hearing that you were a Patriots fan, Sue. 17 forevers, I could have gone. What am I going to do with you? My whole image of you has changed. Although that's probably how Lauren is feeling right now about me. Although I don't know how you didn't know I was a Steelers fan, honestly. Oof. Listen, we won. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. I'll wear my Patriot shirt every time I go. Don't you wear no Patriot shirt coming to the to the Fiber Festival. I'm gonna need you to buy an It's Crochet O'Clock shirt. <laughs> merch. Go to It's Crochet Click on the merch button. 11 billion years. Yeah, I could have gone for all of those. Ugh. See what you started, Anthony? We were all fine, okay? We were all fine until we figured out who who was going for what team where. This is all Anthony's fault. I forgave you because it wasn't football season. However, we could have some issues in the next few months. That's all right. That's all right. I ain't scared. Bring it. I ain't scared at all. Okay, I will wear that the second day. Lord Jesus. I'm not going to take a picture with you wearing that shirt, just so you know. It's not going to happen. <sighs> Amy is a Cowboys fan. Bless her heart. I love her anyways. I love her in spite of it because she's also an FSU fan with me, but it still constantly breaks my heart that she is a Cowboys fan. It's her heart. She's been holding on to it since the 90s. She's been holding on to it. She won't let go. And bless my Aunt Jean Ann who has to deal with all of us on game days. Because my Aunt Jean Ann is not a football person and she has to deal with all of us on game days. And when we're all around each other, it's, it's bad. It's bad. We could be friends again when it's over. All right, well, as long as, as long as we got that, it'll be okay. It was only the gray. Most of the gray that I didn't, what was I thinking? And really, exactly how long of an end did I need to leave you guys? How long did that end need to be? <sighs> Lauren, you're treading. You're treading. Oh, <sighs> treading, treading, treading. Amy's been a Cowboys fan for, like, as long as I can remember. She's old school. There has to be something said for, for, for people who, who stick with their teams, you know, when they haven't really done anything for, for years. I mean, there's the Packers. I mean, look at those folks, you know what I'm saying?
No, Anthony, don't tell her. We're not going to talk about that. Aunt Jean Ann is just in it for the food. I don't blame you. There's always great food on game day. Game day is lots and lots and lots of good food. She just deals with us and listens to all of the screaming and all the trash talking and all of that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with THE Ohio State University. I'm sure there's something wrong. I'm sure we could figure it out. <laughs> Kim! Here comes Kim from the back. Green Bay Packers were in Pitch Perfect 2 movie. <laughs> Oh. I'm still waiting to see what team my three-year-old daughter will choose. I'm guessing Vikings like her daddy, but I'd love it if she was a Packers fan like me. Oh, man, you guys. The things we learn about each other. Anthony is in trouble. <sighs> Yeah. Um, Sue thinks Anthony needs another timeout. No. Don't put him in timeout. <laughs> Jesus. Y'all stop bribing the moderators. No bribing of admins. Do I need to turn this into an official rule? No bribing. Oh, mercy. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of y'all. I miss game days. I'm not a moderate would be. Hey, y'all stop it. Stop it. Be nice. Be nice. Seahawks. Ooh, Carol just came out of left field. Don't knock my Yankees. Oh, Lord. Unless it's with Tim Tams. Some of the moderators could probably be bribed with Tim Tams. Penn State and the Eagles. You can't bribe me with Tim Tams. I'm the dealer. That's right. Kim is the dealer. Well, my dealer. I don't know about all y'all, but Kim is my dealer, and I'm going to need y'all to stay away from her because she cannot get burnt out. I need her to continue. Not touching the timeout button ever again. <laughs> Poor D. Oh. It'll be okay, D. My Uncle Roger's watching football right now. Green and yellow is better than black and yellow. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Come on, get in there. Freaky has stayed abnormally quiet throughout this. Freaky, do you not watch football? I'm predicting predicting the Jaguars will lose the entire season. Imagine that it's the Jags. Ida can be bribed with yarn and Tim Tams. My sweet, sweet Ida never fails, never fails to surprise me. Ida is just the sweetest, sweetest thing ever. And, and it's always shocking to hear some of the things that, that come out of Ida's mouth. I would never expect. Oh, does somebody not know what Tim Tams are? Hold on, where's, oh, behind me. Uh, uh, okay, all right. I still have this box sitting here. Mm. This is a Tim Tam. It's a cookie. Wait, the glare's getting in, just a little bit. Oh, naughty. Naughty was serious about getting her fly eagles fly. Thank you for the super chat, Naughty. Anywho, these are the these are the caramel ones. The caramel ones are my favorite. 
but it's a cookie. You can also kidnap me by saying free yarn. No, I'm not going to eat one. I don't want to open up a whole package of them. I don't want to open up a whole package of them because then I'll have to eat the whole package. No, I'm not going to be evil. I'm not going to eat one. I'm not. I'm not going to. I do have a baby. Eat the babies. See? These ones got melted. The other ones that didn't get melted, I'm hiding them from myself because they're so daggum good. So these ones got melted and it's it's normally two little cookies, but in transit it, it got melted. Mm. You guys, I love these things. <sighs> Few things in life are better than it. Man, this chocolate is the best chocolate ever. Ever. No, that's not the last Tim Tam. No, girl. Mm mm. Hmm. Man, I love that chocolate. I really do, you guys. My cousin. Well, in your defense, Amy, I did not bring you the caramel ones. Because I'm selfish. In your defense. So it's not your fault. It's my fault I failed you. Because I could not come off my selfishness and share my favorites. Hmm. I'm fine with you guys not liking Tim Tams. That means more for me. I'm perfectly fine with it. The Aussie chocolate is is so better. I'm half expecting her to light a cigarette. Stop it. <laughs> Ooh, man, I love Tim Tams. That chocolate really is fabulous, you guys. Honestly, it is. Don't suppose to talk with your mouth full. It's not full anymore. Nor with your Aunt Jean Ann. Aunt Jean Ann, I did not see you. I did not see you. And I took Tim Tams with me to conference. But I took dark chocolate. Which I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of the dark chocolate. And I think I took a mint one with me. My favorite are the caramels. Anthony, you don't even know. You ain't never had a Tim Tam to know the difference. Ooh. Still going on about the... You missed it. I just ate one. Ooh, glorious. Glorious. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here it is. Here it is. Um... Someone was saying maybe you can only send one pack at a time now. What? Why? Why are they trying to ruin my life? That's just, that's just horrible. I'm going to need you to call the post office in the morning, Kim. Or, no, I need you to call the post office. Because it, it, it's the middle of the day for you. Find out if this is true. That would be heartbreaking. I would need to prepare myself for that. One package of Tim Tams. What I'm going to do with one package of Tim Tams? Mm -mm. That's not okay.
I think my girls need the Lord's chicken for dinner tomorrow night. Listen, I've not had the Lord's chicken since I was in Manchester. And before that, when was the... I did the video for you guys. Somebody went to... One of my co-workers went to Lubbock and she picked up the Lord's chicken and dropped it off for me at work on the way back. But that was months before that. God, I miss living close to... I can't take it, you guys. I miss the Lord's chicken. Who might be able to find what in the city, Aunt Jeannie Ann? I missed what you said. What did I miss? I missed something. What will you do with one package of Tim Tams? The same thing you'll do with five packages of Tim Tams. Yes, but... But only one? I'd, I'd have anxiety if I only had one. Ooh, she said Lubbock? I live close to Lubbock. I mean, not that close to Lubbock. The Lord's Chicken is Chick-fil-A, which I am hopelessly addicted to. I love their waffle fries, and I love their chicken sandwiches. I love the Lord's Chicken. And they, they came out with mac and cheese, and I haven't been able to, to try it yet because I haven't been to Lubbock. Anthony might <laughs> bribe Anthony into bringing me the Lord's chicken. Oh no, you saved. Kathy, you have to be careful and look at the ones at the local store because some of the, their product of Australia is not the same as made in Australia and they taste completely different. Did any of you eat the Popeye's chicken sandwich? I'm going to need to stop with the sacrilege. Stop it. All of this mess... With, between Chick-fil-A and Popeye started happening and, and, and then the Lord sent Dorian. Wasn't that enough warning for you guys? Just, 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 just stop it. We're not going to talk about that here. You've only had Chick-fil-A once? Oof, bless your heart. Bless your heart. I love Chick-fil-A love it. But to be honest with you, like when I was still back at home, I would go through Chick-fil-A's drive through every single morning on the way to work just to get a large sweet tea for no other reason than to have them be so kind to me at the drive through I'm telling you, everything was always their pleasure. They were always happy that I was there and they told me that they were happy that I was there. And it always just put me in such a great mood for, for the rest of the day. <sighs> Hey, Sandy. If you had to pick one, Tim Tams or Chick-fil-A, which would you choose? Chick-fil-A. If I could only have one for the rest of my life, for, for the rest of eternity, the Lord's Chicken, hands down. That's how much I love Chick-fil-A. Not joking. I get mine, Kim, Kim sends me Tim Tams from um from Australia I mean thankfully the situation is never going to pop up where I'm going to have to choose between Tim Tams and the Lord's chicken but if I did have to Chick-fil-A hands down I love Chick-fil-A that the last time I was home, my Uncle Roger, who despises Chick-fil-A, ate Chick-fil-A twice with me. <laughs> I have no rhyme or reason to how I am weaving in these ends. And that's always catastrophic for me because then I get excited because I think that I'm close to finishing. Popeyes is better. 
Really? It's like I don't even know you. Um, I always think that I'm getting close to the end and then I hold it up. Yeah, Anthony's losing points. Quickly, Anthony's losing points. <laughs> this ain't the right place to talk like that, Anthony. Where's the timeout button? Exactly. <laughs> it's time for a timeout. 300 seconds. I assume she has a pile she can count after. Who? A pile of what? I missed something. I don't eat Chick-fil-A because they don't have the chicken salad sandwich anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm also okay with it because that's one less person in the window that I have to wait for. Because I'm selfish. <laughs> I get off the plane at home. Nobody has to ask me where I want to go and get lunch. Nobody. I had to fly home. I had to do an emergency fly home um, a couple Decembers ago. And I had to fly in. I, I was going back home to South Carolina, but I had to fly into Jacksonville. And all of my family um, met me there, you know, Aunt Jean Ann and Uncle Roger and, and, and all of them. But Amy's husband was driving me up to South Carolina. He didn't even have to ask me. He just drove right on from the airport over to Chick-fil-A. He's like, We'll just have a little detour before we get on the interstate. Yes, yes we shall. The end you're doing? Oh, there's, there's a lot of them. There's a lot. Weaving your ends in. There's 11 billion of them. They're not being mean. It's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. Sadly, my tummy doesn't like Chick-fil-A. Aww. Okay, Kim. Have a great week. I will see you for the die stream, hopefully. I will try. I will be at work, but, but I will try my best. I always want Chick-fil-A after church, but they are closed then. Let me tell you, you know how upset I was? When I flew to Manchester, I left at zero dark 30 in the morning, okay? Chick-fil-A wasn't open. Chick-fil-A was not open in Lubbock. And then when I got to Dallas, there's a Chick-fil-A in the airport, but I had like 25 minutes to get to my connecting flight. So there was no stopping and waiting in that line. And then when I came home, y'all, I flew home on a Sunday. I cried walking right past Chick-fil-A in the Dallas airport. It was a moment. Good night, Chris. Thanks for the warning. Chick-fil-A sells out by halftime at our high school. Really? I didn't even get a peach milkshake this year, y'all. Seriously. And now it's out of season. I did not even get a peach milkshake. So sad. They must be doing great if they sell out. I would say so. Bye bye, Cynthia. It's starting to get that time, folks on the East Coast. Okay. N -n 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 -n. 
Not to be mean, in Dallas I will bring her Chick-fil-A while wearing my Patriot shirt and eating a Tim Tam. Sue? Sue. Sue. Sue! Sue, Sue, Sue. I have full intentions. Happy birthday, Sandy. I had full intentions of conserving my Tim Tams. So, um, so I could share them at Dallas with all of my people that I love so much because so many of you guys are coming to Dallas and understand that I am a selfish person to begin with but when it comes to my Tim Tams you know they're not readily available to me yes I have Kim but I do have to wait and the waiting period is is quite some time so my selfishness takes me over Amy I saw that now I just don't know if I'm gonna bring myself to do that I just I just don't know something might get spit on that Patriots jersey like a peach milkshake cuz hopefully they'll be back in season by then hopefully y'all look at the hornet's nest that Anthony just riled up. Keep running your yap. Robert, did you take Amy's phone? My cousin's husband has taken her phone because my cousin does not speak to me like that. Robert has taken over Amy's phone. My cousin is kind. My cousin is sweet. And even when she's being mean, it's still covered with sugar. That's not my cousin. Lordy. I bet you she set her phone down and she went to the bathroom or something and her husband picked it up. Lord, I don't know what's going on. I've just entered the twilight zone. Hello, Crystal. Thank you for popping in. Chick-fil-A is a restaurant, Freaky. You don't know what Chick-fil-A is? Lord, y'all hear that dog outside? That's a really big dog. That's not my dog. That's not my dog. Uh, come on. I have no idea how many ends I have left to weave in. You ever save your ends and put them out for the birds to... No! People do that? I didn't even know that that was a thing. Because I got ends. Amy's account will be the next to get timed out. Don't time out my cousin. It's not my cousin. It's my cousin's husband. He's picked up her phone. Either that or he's walked into her office while she's laying in the... There, there she... Hey, 
Hang on. Are you on your cousin? Are are you on your wife's phone? Are you messing with me? No, no that's no. me. You called me. <laughs> Amy, are you? Did you make? Did you make your wife mad? Cause she's not her normal kind self in chat this evening. I did not do anything. She, How are you doing she this? thinks you're live right now. She's on delay. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, that's my cousin. I gotta go. I'm, I'm, I'm working. Bye. Lord, listen, you guys. I don't know what has happened. My cousin is always the nice one. And I, my cousin is holding her phone. That's not her husband. That was my cousin. I don't know, like Twilight Zone. My cousin doesn't ever talk that much trash. I feel kind of, did he marry his cousin? No, he didn't marry his cousin. Oh, man. I thought for certain that that was Amy's husband that was talking all that trash. Couldn't have been my sweet cousin. My sweet, loving cousin. Oh. I don't know how I feel right now. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. Sue, that's what I always thought. Putting out yarn would be, unless it was like, won't they eat it and can it get like stuck in their digestive tract and, and all that? Wouldn't that be bad? Oh, line said, don't put out your ends. When they get wet, they don't dry out fast enough and the eggs get too cold and die. Oh, poor babies. Poor babies. My feelings are hurt. My feelings are hurt. My poor cousin came for me. And here I was, you know, I mean, she's a Cowboys fan, but I was still loving her. And my cousin came for me, my sweet, sweet cousin, who was always so kind to everybody. Even when she doesn't want to be. I wasn't ready, you guys. I did not prepare for this. <sighs> Maybe it's just gas. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I love my Aunt Jean Ann. Maybe it's just gas. <laughs> Amy, are you gassy? Is that why you're being so ornery? <sighs> Lord. <sighs> Aunt Jean Ann sneaks in from the back. She's trying to come up with a reason of why my cousin would be so sassy because she's not normally then we're taken back I say taken back don't know what to do with ourselves I'm okay You are in a delay, Amy, because all of your all of your responses just all came at once. You were responding to all kinds of things from 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 way back and and it 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 was it was like a semi-automatic weapon coming at me in words. Bye Sally, see you next week, honey. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I, I just I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
I can't take all of this abuse. It hurts my heart. Oh. <sighs> Y'all, it's not funny. I literally thought that that was my cousin's husband and not her. I firmly believed. Like, I was yelling at him in my head. Now he's tagging me and stuff on Facebook. Lord only knows what he's saying. Aunt Jean Ann wins the Tim Tams for the night. Yes, she does. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Maybe it's gas. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> oh. I just talked to her just a couple hours ago, right before we went live, you guys. Got off the phone with her like 15 minutes before we went live. She was sweet as can be. I do. Quite frequently. <sighs> Call her and tell her that she hurt your feelings. She knows. She knows. She's watching. She knows me. She probably doesn't care, though, because she's a Cowboys fan. So she doesn't care. Aw, thank you for the love, Daigo. So kind. So considerate. Unlike other people. We even gave Amy the nice one title. When we were up in New Hampshire, like Amy was was the the nice one. Because you know, like groups of friends, the vast majority, like someone's always got to be the jerk, and then there's always someone that's overly overly nice. And Amy couldn't be the jerk because she's overly overly nice to to everybody. I'm revoking that. Revoked. Hello, Mimi. You hurt her first. Look at my Asha taking up for my cousin. Oh, look at my Asha taking up for my cousin. My, my own tribe is turning against me. How did we get here? How did we get to this point? I don't know how we got here, folks. Speaking of titles, how's the contest for Good Loops? Um, Carlay's name? It's coming along very, very nicely. Jennifer and I have chosen our favorites out of the submissions, and Carlay is left to choose her favorites. So on Thursday, the voting will go up. I've been around Amy talking football, but she's never been like that. I mean, that was, that was ruthless. It was ruthless. That was just out of left field, and I, I, I wasn't given time to mentally prepare for it. I wasn't ready. There's no chicken wings. There's no jalapeno poppers. There's, I mean, there, 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 there's none of that to mentally prepare me for the defense. Okay, I'm sitting here and I'm crocheting. I'm in my happy place. I was not prepared. Was not. It just caught me off guard. Just caught me off guard. The contest is about giving Carlay a title with Good Loops because at Good Loops we don't like to take we don't like to take ourselves too seriously. Jennifer is the yarn boss. I'm the director of Squish. Amy is the yarn minion. And since Carlay, if we get into Dallas, Carlay will be coming from South Africa. And she's already feeling left out because she doesn't have a fancy title. And be sweet. It will be Amy's birthday in two hours and 25 minutes. I know, I know that it's going to be Amy's birthday. And I was going to sing happy birthday to her, but... Now, she's going to have to wait until her actual birthday. 
just the way that it's going to have to be. It's just things. Lord. <sighs> Steph, did you cut your hair? It looks shorter. Yes. I cut five inches off of my hair two weeks ago. But I also started using new product and my hair is soaking it up so it's curling up more than usual, which I'm not angry at. It's our version of Fancy Ida. Listen, I don't even hang around Valerie during football season, okay? No, no. She hangs out with them gator folks. We don't associate with them. No, ma'am. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Steph, you're looking at a small picture frame? I'm looking at a small picture frame. What do you mean? What did I do? You're confusing me. Lord, these ends. They're just coming from everywhere. Honestly. My hair does very, very funky things. It's never the same twice. It always cracks me up because people are like, oh my God, your hair is so nice. You should wear it like that all the time. And I'm like, hey, hi, you're not familiar with curly hair, are you? It does what it wants to do when it wants to do it. You can't make it do anything. <laughs> it's different every day. Did I say feet or yards? Inches. I cut five inches off of my hair. What did I say? Do I know of a good pattern for a beach cover-up? I don't know. I would check um, Kirsten Omdahl is, is who I would check, and I am going to kick somebody's hind parts if they close the door that loud again. Could y'all hear that? Seriously. Ooh, poor Hope. She said football season is crazy in her house. She has 14 boys and they all go for a different team. What are you doing? I can't imagine. I cannot imagine. Mm -mm. That would probably make me crazy. I would have to leave the house. And it never wants to do it when you need it to look a certain way, right? It always cracks me up. I see these women that I guess the big thing now is is going to go get your your preliminary hairdo done and your makeup and all of that before you get married. And it always cracks me up when curly girls go to go do that because I'm like, ha, 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 good luck on getting it to do that next week. They are never ending. Whew. It's almost time, guys. It is almost time. Oh. Steph, what? What did I do, Amy? What? I didn't do anything. I'm sitting here. I'm minding my business. I stopped talking football. Didn't do anything. Hello, Mimi. Oh, come on. Hair and women do what they want anyway. That's true. Very true, most of the time. Uh, 
Y'all, can you imagine all of this in one house? We will see whose flag flies this weekend. Meanwhile, I will just eat another little piggy. I was making sure I wasn't put in timeout. Amy, I love you, okay? I would never put you in timeout. I might bribe one of the moderators to do it, but I would never put you in timeout. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. It gives me a little joy that you were worried about that. Just a little bit of joy. Not a lot, but a little bit. Oh, this blanket is never going to get finished, you guys. Stop. It's never going to get finished. Um, Ida will for a package of Tim Tams. <laughs> Laura threatened. Ida can be bribed with yarn or Tim Tams. See, I told you, the moderators are easily bribed. You can't... Tr you just can't find good help no more. <laughs> D is traumatized from putting Anthony in, in timeout. She's never going to touch it again. She's just going to let everybody else do that, and she's just going to spam links for the rest of her stint as an admin. <laughs> <sighs> the blanket is done when you say it's done, not till then. Yeah. I don't think it's ever... It's the ends that never end. Hey, Tammy. It's been an interesting one. You may or may not want to. Listen, if I could go back in time and unlearn everybody's football team that they favored, I would do it. So, Tammy, you may not want to watch this replay. Lord, my cousin is sassy this evening, you guys. <laughs> oh, oh. I almost spit my drink everywhere. <laughs> oh, at least it was directed at somebody else instead of me this time. You have to time out everybody at least once now and then. Yes, I'm okay. I just almost choked on my drink because I was reading chat as I was drinking. <sighs> Should have let me time out the football talk. I feel vindicated. <laughs> it's the gas. Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. <sighs> D's first instinct of, of, of throwing Anthony in, into timeout was probably correct. Look at all of, look at the domino effect that has happened. This is all Anthony's fault. Every bit of it. Go Vikings. Oh Lord. Ugh, come on. <laughs> it's all Anthony's fault for bringing up football yes yes it is it's so early you guys it's so early alright this thing is oh I moved on too soon apparently They're never ending. Hmm.
It was a good one, seriously. I don't think that I've ever done that. There's a lot of things that I've done live on YouTube, but spitting out my drink is not one of them. I'm from... I'm a true New England girl. Oh, no. Oh. Mm. See, I'm telling you, there are just things that I would rather not know about you people. Honestly. And how about this week... We not allow this topic to flood over into the Facebook group like our normal topics do. How about we just don't let this one do go that way? Huh? I think that. I think that that's the way that we should do it. Green Bay. Oh. Here's a first for everyone. I know. I know it. All I want to do is crochet. Me too, and then look at what happens to me. But it's football season. <laughs> I know it's football season, but listen, I don't want no drama in the Facebook group. I don't want to deal with it. No drama in the Facebook group. It's going to start arguments. We don't want none of that. None of, the, none of those shenanigans. Tacos and bacon are usually the tops of conversations. Listen, okay? There ain't nothing wrong with talking about tacos and bacon. Anthony, Amy, both of you guys stop teaming up on me. Lord. I can't, you guys. I can't. I don't even know how to properly respond to all of this stuff. I'm just trying to weave in some ends. Lord mercy. For any of you guys who are new, no, this is not the normal. <laughs> People might get banned and that would be all bad. He's okay. Oh, man. She says as she's laying in bed next to him. Whew. Again, where is the timeout button? <laughs> oh, have mercy. Did someone say bacon? Yes, someone said bacon. It always gets me excited, too. I'm okay with bacon talk. I love me some bacon. And suddenly I want bacon instead of the pizza that's waiting for me when I finish this. Oh, come on. Bacon. Bacon is good with bacon. Yes, it is. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Bacon sandwiches. Mmm. What's normal these days? Good point, Alicia. We haven't had a normal chat in a very, very long time. Not that I'm complaining, because they have been highly entertaining. Bacon. Put bacon on the pizza. I already ordered the pizza. The pizza's out there. It's been out there since before. I was on the phone with you when the pizza got here. 
It's too late to start cooking bacon now. Oh, Julie, if you think that's bad, it's a good thing that there's not like a live broadcasting camera in my cousin's house during football season. For the gatherings, my Aunt Jean Ann was not joking. It's not okay. I mean, it is okay, because we all still love each other afterwards, but it's really not okay. <laughs> Y'all, there's an incredibly noisy, angry owl out back tonight. Oof. That sounds scary. Who cooks bacon naked? That's dangerous. Nobody. Nobody. Ugh. I'll have a little food with my bacon. Me too. <laughs> Bacon is its own food group. <sighs> He's just trying to do a public service announcement, Bobby. There are some people that need guidance through everything in life. True story. The dog ate the owl. Oh no. You mean you dress your bacon up before you cook it? <laughs> oh, freaky. Freaky, freaky, freaky. Lord. Y'all know when Anthony first came, started coming into this chat, I thought that the big problem was going to be Anthony and freaky together in the same room once they got to know each other because I just knew that they were going to play off of each other. I had no idea that my own blood would be turning on me. Candy bacon. Bacon in any form is okay. Any Bacon in any way. I would think it's a safety hazard. It is. It is a safety hazard. But I'll bet you there's folks out there that was going to try it or have tried it because they're stupid. Hey, Zsa, Zsa we were talking about you earlier. Glad to see that you're okay. Eight minutes left, y'all. Did I cover everything that I wanted to cover? No, and I got blindsided and completely off track from everything. You're a Steelers fan. You were raised better than that. Really? Don't nobody say nothing to you about being a Cowboys fan, okay? A Cowboys fan. I don't want to listen to no flack from you. <sighs> Good night, naughty little skein. Thank you again for the super chats. Can you imagine having to explain that to a nurse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Steph want me to mute her a while no I only got five minutes left I'm starting to say my goodbyes she's not going to see my face again so um well I mean not ever again but she's not going to be able to see my face anymore so um she'll have time to think about what she's done who just said bacon Sue Sue you are just batting zero this evening just 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 batting zero Ooh. 
Oof. No sports in my house. It's nice. Bless your heart. I can't imagine. Cannot imagine. Ugh. Okay, guys. So, I told you guys about the Snowball Express. My meeting's tomorrow. So, if you're not part of the It's Crochet O'Clock Facebook group and you are interested in that and you don't want to wait until Monday to find out what happens in my meeting tomorrow, make sure you join the Facebook group because I will probably not be able to contain myself after the meeting and I'll spill all of the beans about it in there. Part 6 of Yaya's Hugs comes out on Thursday and I don't want to hear no sass from nobody about the border. Seriously, you can do it. I've done three of them. Two of them while I was live here with you guys paying attention to all kinds of other junk. If I can do that, you can do it. I don't want to hear no sass about it. You can do it. Blue Happy starts on Sunday. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, that's Pip and Poppycock. The Pip and Poppycock Facebook group. If you're wanting to do the Blue Happy Crochet along, Pip and Poppycock is the hosting Facebook group for that. Let's see, what else did I forget to talk about? Um, I have no idea. No idea. I have no brain capacity left. Hmm. But I will say goodnight to you guys now, seeing how YouTube always likes to never really tell me when it's going to cut me off. Thank you for hanging out with us. Having such a great time this evening. I hope that no friendships have been permanently wounded while we were all here. And um, I hope that we can recognize that we all have differences and respect those differences <sighs> unless you're a Green Bay fan and um, I will see you guys next week where I will probably still have to weave in ends because they're all over the place but it is what it is Okie dokie, guys. You guys have a great week. Super, super great week. I'm turning off chat now, so I can't be abused anymore. Aunt Jeannie and I love you. Amy, I love you. Bye, guys. <laughs>